welcome back as we now look at the third seal we read in revelations chapter 6 verse 5 and it says when he opened the third seal i heard the third living creature say come and i looked and behold a black horse and its rider had a pair of scales in his hand and as i heard what seemed to be a voice in the midst of the four living creatures saying a quart of wheat for a denarius and three quarts of barley for a denarius and do not harm the oil and wine the third seal as it was opened this black horse is released and the horse is carrying a pair of scales and right in the midst of the four living creatures there's a voice that is saying one denarius for a quart of wheat or one denarius for three quarts of barley and he says don't touch the oil and don't touch the wine now what does this mean in the old testament whenever a scale was mentioned it it denoted that there was a famine and that because food was in scarcity the food will be measured and weighed and given to people and even whatever they would be given it would not be enough in Leviticus chapter 26 26 you know because of the rationing it says when I have cut off your supply of bread Ten women shall break your bread in one oven. They shall bring back your bread by weight. And you shall eat and not be satisfied. So, you know, whenever there was a famine that caused the scarcity of food. And therefore, the third horse really talks about the famine that is going to hit the world and across. And, and food is going to be rationed. Food is going to be so scarce that even people will do things that they would not normally humanly do. For example, in Lamentations chapter 4 verse 10, it says, With their own hands, compassionate women have cooked their children, who became their food when my people were destroyed. You know, we hear even during the Second World War, we hear during wartime, when there's a scarcity of food, people tend to eat you know, various types of animals and rodents. Because when a person is hungry, he will do whatever to get some morsel of food. You know, we have seen through the ages that the season of the depression. And even today, we see so many nations battling with widespread hunger. The voice that shouts from uh, in the midst of the four living creatures, we assume that it is the Lord Jesus Christ. And he is actually determining the price of wheat across the earth. Isn't that interesting? You know, when I, when I read that, the question that came to me, and I wonder whether you're going to think about this, is does heaven control the economy on earth? Does heaven control the economy on earth? Because the instruction was very specific. It said, a denarius for a quart of wheat. Right? Now a quart is something very small. It's like a quarter. And he said, a denarius. In the day of uh, Jesus and during that period, uh, an average worker would earn one denarius per day. So that would be the daily wage, right? Not the hourly wage. The daily wage would be a denarius. So you're paying a considerable amount of money for a small measure of wheat. And that wheat is not going to be enough for even yourself. And you're going to still be hungry. And what if you had three, four in the family? It also talks about one denarius uh, for three quarts of barley. Now, barley, again, was, a, was considered a lower grade um, than the wheat. So the barley was really used by a lot of the poor people, the peasant people. 
and even for them it was going to be hard that yes they had a little more of quantity for that same price but yet even for them it was not going to be enough so the third horse the black horse is really a, a dark time for the earth where there is going to be less of food where people are going to be you know dying of hunger of malnutrition and we have seen that in the past years you know we've seen ethiopia we've seen africa going through so much of hardship because there is famine and usually you know famine happens because there's a lack of rain which is one of the major reasons or even the crops when they are eaten by insects like locusts you know where locusts would just come in their thousands and they would instantly you know destroy crops which leaves the farmer without any food the voice also speaks about the oil and the wine and the voice says don't harm or don't destroy the oil and the wine that's interesting isn't it for the barley the voice set up the pricing because there was going to be famine but for the oil and the wine he says don't harm them in other words don't harm those crops you know don't uh, and and usually you know um the wine and the olive trees can survive um famines and so the oil and the wine was not going to be touched but yet the the wheat was in matthew 24 verse 7 and luke 21 verse 11 The scripture says there will be famines and earthquakes in various places. See, I remember I said that we have to take a look at what Jesus was referring to at the end times. And so, you know, even today, you know, we can see around the world how this black horse has been released. He was released as we said from the time of Jesus being ascended. and what would happen is that it will increase famines are going to be increasing you know crazy weather patterns that we have seen even over the last couple of years and and because of that you're going to see a lack of food a lack of wheat i was reading in the newspaper and um just the other day because of the corona uh, virus that that we have experienced um the who uh, says coronavirus pandemic will cause famine of biblical proportions interesting isn't it how the newspapers you know acknowledge <laughs> the famines during the bible and it says that governments must act now to stop 265 million 265 million starving and this comes from the world food program from the united nations you know they, i'm not making this up this is this is reported news you know over the last couple of years you know from 2011 there have been so many famines especially in africa you know in somalia in you know there were about 285000 who were killed you know who died in 2016 to present in yemen you know there are 85000 children and i think today that number has considerably increased you know children uh, uh who have died you know the number of adults is they say it's not known and so you know famine is not something new to the world but it's something that we have to realize that it will be a reality in time to come even it could be in the places that where we live right now